I have a lot of people ask me if there's anything that can be done to potentially fix the vision issues that I have due to laser eye surgery. The only thing that I'm really aware of that could potentially help is getting scleral contact lenses. Many people develop a bunch of vision issues after laser eye surgery because the laser destroys the surface of the cornea. The laser is supposed to reshape the cornea in order to fix refractive issues. And in doing so, it can cause irregularities and imperfections in the otherwise smooth and healthy cornea. And these irregularities in the cornea caused by the laser cause something called higher order aberrations, also known as HOAs for short. Many people have a small level of HOAs before even getting the surgery, but the level is so low that they don't cause any noticeable vision issues. However, after having the surgery, they can exacerbate these HOAs and bring them up to levels high enough that they actually cause noticeable vision issues. Also, the healing process after the surgery takes place can cause scarring and there can be a regular healing, healing that um, causes HOAs. And if you have large pupils, such as myself, these HOAs are just greatly enhanced. So anybody who has pupils on the larger side will experience the HOAs to a greater degree and thus have worse vision issues. So how do scleral lenses address HOAs? The scleral lens acts as an artificial cornea. Basically, it's a hard lens that you fill with saline solution and that lens becomes, it's supposed to mimic what your normal healthy cornea was prior to the surgery. And I do have a couple of videos on scleral lenses and me showing them and actually inserting them and taking them out if you want to look through my older videos. Basically, the person is uh, fitted for the lens where they use an aberometer to measure the person's HOAs. And they'll also use other equipment to get a person's corneal topography. And all these measurements are taken and this data is put into the lens in order to create a lens that will help minimize the higher order aberrations and thus act as the cornea that the person once had before it was damaged by laser eye surgery. These lenses, since they greatly reduce higher order aberrations, can potentially reduce or even eliminate some vision issues that people get after laser eye surgery. So what are my experiences with squirrel contact lenses? I've gone to multiple optometrists, um, actually four different lens providers, and the last three were considered some of the best in the world at creating these squirrel contact lenses. So I went to the best of the best and I've tried probably over 30 different pairs of squirrel contact lenses from these different providers. And unfortunately, none of the lenses have really done much to significantly or in any meaningful way improve the quality of my vision. The things that the lenses do help with are basically two different things. The first one is they do improve refractive power. And the second one is they do minimize some of the halos and starbursts I see around lights at night. My vision is clear up close and far away due to having improved refractive power. However, this is something that glasses and soft contact lenses could have easily done. And while the halos and starbursts around the lights don't completely go away, they are greatly reduced. So driving at night becomes a little bit easier. Unfortunately, the lenses seem to make my glare issues worse and they they make it so much worse that it, it almost kind of uh negates the benefits that i just uh mentioned that the lenses give me so i honestly haven't even worn the lenses in months just due to the glare being so much more worse than not having the lenses in so unfortunately they barely do anything to improve the overall quality of my vision one of my theories for why they do so little for me is that some of my more bothersome vision issues are caused by visual snow syndrome. 
and obviously a lens is not going to be able to improve something that is neurological in nature but i will say that the visual snow syndrome was caused by laser eye surgery and i know i would not have developed vss or any of the related symptoms with it if i did not have a refractive eye surgery but the lenses i know do help some people so if you are experiencing vision issues i would definitely recommend checking out squirrel contact lenses from somebody who has a lot of experience in fitting other people with them however i had to warn the lenses are not cheap it's the optometrist i currently go to is all the way down in miami and i live in the northeast so it's a long trip and the whole process of taking measurements designing the lenses fitting the lenses and trying multiple pairs can take anywhere from a few weeks up to a month and i've seen him at least five times so just the amount of money spending not only on the lenses which tend to be a few grand for just a pair of lenses but also just the lodging and all the expenses that have to do with traveling and everything i've spent probably over a hundred thousand dollars alone on anything lens related over the last approximately six years so if you're thinking of getting a surgery because you want to save some money definitely the wrong reason to get it although i don't think there's any good reason at all to ever get it but potentially you might think you're going to save a little bit of money by not having to buy soft contact lenses or glasses but squirrel contact lenses if you need them are about 100 times more expensive and also 100 times more a pain in the ass as far as having to deal with them and all the equipment you need and everything you need to put them in and take them out and store them it's soft contact lenses were a thousand times easier so something to think about as i mentioned i do have an older video where i show myself uh putting out and taking in the squirrel contact lenses and i show what they look like in case you're interested in viewing that i will have a link at the top of the screen at the end of the video if you do have laser eye surgery complications again i would suggest looking into squirrel contact lenses but just be aware that they may not do much to help your vision issues again i have heard stories of people where it's drastically improved their vision but i'd say i have more vision issues and to a greater severity than most people that develop complications after laser eye surgery so i am kind of more of a unique case and also i believe some of my issues are caused by visual snow syndrome so again a lens is not gonna be able to help with anything caused by that if you have any questions at all about squirrel contact lenses, please feel free to write it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. I'm um, just very open and transparent about the surgery and anything uh, related to the surgery, including the lenses and my opinions on them. And I'll believe in if you tell you names of providers who I think are good in case you need a reference or a recommendation as far as where you should go to get lenses because i know how difficult it is dealing with this stuff and if a lens could potentially help you a little bit then i definitely would like to try to help you find you know somebody that can potentially help you out so that's all i have for today until next time stay strong warriors